Now, the stalemate at the Senate will not end anytime soon. But it will end the day all senators from the larger Kalenji nation will oppose the revenue sharing formula. And just like I opined previously in one of the videos, President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta is very clear on his political objectives. And the objective is very simple. That William Ruto must be portrayed as someone who is opposed to this formula because the people of Central Kenya are passionate about this specific formula. And today at the Senate, there were fireworks. Kipchumba Murkomen engaged the speaker, he engaged James Orego, and I've compiled for you his speeches, and I've compiled for you his speech at the Senate. I want you to listen to it carefully, and tomorrow I'll dive into the details about this revenue sharing formula and the political objectives which it will ultimately help achieve. Listen. Without undivided attention on this matter, Two weeks ago, a government functionary, actually in the office of the president, came to me and told me that if the formula will not pass the way government wants, some senators can even be abducted. They can even be arrested. The speaker, we discussed and joked about it. The speaker, we discussed and What's joked. What's the point of order, Senator Bogisho? Just, just, just so that we don't take, take your seat, Senator Murkomen, somewhere. Just, just, Mr. Speaker, so that we don't derail debate in any way uh, by dilatory motion, uh, motions. Is my neighbour, the Senator for Elgeyo Marakwet, in order to insinuate without facts, without substantiating, and, and Mr. Speaker, leading in a very dangerous direction of pointing out public servants. And, uh, and, and statements which, which, which really uh, are not, it, statements which are, lead us to think, Mr. Speaker, there is something that can be said like that, abduction, claiming by government, that must be substantiated, that must be somebody who said that. And we need to know. Mr. Speaker, yes, yes, Mr. Speaker Senator Pokisho remembers two years ago when three Pokot young men were abducted in Kapenguria, murdered, and dumped in Kaptagat Forest in Elgeo Marakwet County. Three weeks, three months down the line, my PA, former MCA Benson Kiptire, was abducted in Eldoret. We were with the president in town, killed and dumped in Kapenguria. He cannot pretend to be a visitor in Jerusalem. He knows that the victims of this kind of strategies have even affected the people from our two counties. So I'm speaking from my personal testimony. He cannot challenge my personal testimony. I am not alleging that newspapers or so forth. And let me, let me give my story. Le listen, Senator Pokisho. And listen to us because we are senators under now the mercy of the speaker. Not under your mercy. The speaker, when he told me that we will do everything to abduct two or three senators, I thought it was a joke. On Friday... On Saturday, I, I, I put this information in public domain. Sunday, the same. Senator Langat was called by many, including leaders in this chamber, to tell him that he should leave his house. Because I was with him the last night. He should leave his house, go to Bomet quietly. He will even be facilitated for as long as he doesn't come to these chambers to vote. Senator Lelekwe was saying charges will be preferred on him unless he decides to vote with government, and I don't know what's government position, I don't know what that means. Mr. Speaker, you cannot therefore say in the chambers of this house that the vote that is about, that, that uh, 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 Kangata is now saying, let's vote, let's vote. You can't tell me that there is no relationship with the withdrawal of three senators who would have voted in both the procedural motion and the substantive motion that there is no relationship between L let's their arrests, the arrest, Mr. Speaker, order, order members. That let's there is no relationship between their arrest, Mr. Speaker, their, their, Mr. Speaker, 
removal from the jurisdiction of this house and the voting in this house. If that is not true, if that is not true, Mr. Speaker, confirm to me that no other senator in this chamber will vote on behalf of Senator Malala if that was not the plan. Confirm to me that Senator Milko has not been aligned to vote on behalf of Senator uh, Langat, even though, Mr. Speaker, Senator Langat has written in no uncertain terms that no one else should vote on his behalf. Even though Malala has written that no one should vote on his behalf. If you confirm to me, Mr. Speaker, that that is not the position, I will know that the conspiracy we are talking about is not there. We are not children. I have been majority leader and deputy majority leader in this house for more than five years. The magic 24 number, we were 25 voting in this house last week. Mr. Speaker, the desire was to reduce us from 25 to 23. Transport, Mr. Speaker, the vote of Senator Langat, give it to Milko. Get, the, uh, Mr. Speaker, the vote of Senator Malala, give it to one of the members of his delegation, whether it's Yongo or Msuruve. And Mr. Speaker, achieve the objective of defeating the will of the people. Mr. Speaker, you can't tell us we should just proceed. It is not possible. It is not possible, Mr. Speaker. This is Kenya. We cannot be forced, Mr. Speaker, to take positions of the minority. Mr. Speaker, you are sitting in that chair. Senator Malala was in the opposition. He was among the only few senators that voted to get you 42 votes, Mr. Speaker, to become in that chair. Senator Lalekwa and Senator Lalakad were among the 42 people who voted for you to be the speaker. Mr. Speaker, you sacrificed me. You sacrificed Susan Kiika. Don't sacrifice Kenya. Don't sacrifice Mr. Order, speaker, order, 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 on 4th of January when King Charles entered the House of Commons supported by 400 armed men in an attempt to seize five members who were accused of treason. The speaker who was presiding over the House of Commons was one Sir William Lenthal. And when Sir Charles Mr. Speaker has lentil where the five members were. This was his response. Mr. Speaker, he responded, I have neither eyes to see nor tongue to speak in this place, but as this house is pleased to direct me. And Mr. Speaker, history records that Speaker Lentil became the first speaker in England to declare his allegiance, Mr. Speaker, to the liberty of parliament instead of the king. Mr. Speaker, parliament is at crossroads. It has nothing to do with the money. It has absolutely nothing to do with division of, or county allocation of revenue uh, formula. Mr. Speaker, the motion moved by Senator Cherarkey is bigger and larger, Mr. Speaker, than basis for allocation of revenue. I must, Mr. Speaker, say on the floor of this house, I am the first person to defend the right of my brother and my friend, Senator Cherargay, to prosecute, Mr. Speaker, his agenda opposite the one I prosecute in this house. He has a right and constitutional right. The same to Senator Susan Kihika. The same to Senator James Orengo. But this morning, Mr. Speaker, that is not what we are facing as a Senate. We are facing an assault on the constitutional order of this republic. Mr. Speaker, the integrity and the independence of parliament is, Mr. Speaker, on trial. Mr. Speaker, it is your choice this morning whether, Mr. Speaker, you are going to be subservient, Mr. Speaker, to the authorities that want to undermine the powers and Mr. Speaker, the constitutional authority of this house, or you will be like Speaker William Lenthal, Mr. Speaker, rule, Mr. Speaker, that this integrity of this house must be protected. Let me confess something, Mr. Speaker, which I have always confessed to Senator James Orengo, and he knows, and he can go on record. Some of us came to study law 
and admire politics because of people like Senator James Orengo. And I've told Senator Jer James Orengo over and over again, Mr. Speaker, I have no doubt in my mind that if Senator Orengo is told to choose between a forced process, Mr. Speaker, that puts our friends in danger, and Mr. Speaker, the question of protecting the integrity of this house, the choice is obvious. And that choice is in this motion. Because, Mr. Speaker, I didn't sleep last night. Myself and Senator Cheruyot, plus other members of National Assembly, come outside the house of Senator Langat. Mr. Speaker, media reports are there. Senator Langat, is being, his house is being surrounded by over 20 police officers. At 3 in the morning, Senator Malala called me, and I updated immediately on my Twitter. Mr. Speaker, Senator Malala's house, Mr. Speaker, is being surrounded by four DCI vehicles and over 20 police officers. Senator Lelekwe, on his way to these chambers of this house, was arrested, Mr. Speaker, on Riverside. I am shocked. I am shocked that Senator George uh, uh, Ayako, Achille Ayako, Mr. Speaker, would even contemplate to say he has no facts when those are three close senators, one of them deputy minority leader in this house, can he call Mr. Speaker and confirm if these facts are on this, uh, Mr. Speaker, true? Okay, Senator Speaker, Chilo, Yako, what's your today, intervention? There's a point of order. Now, me, me, Mr. Speaker, you have heard uh, my friend Senator Murkom and mention my name. Now, Mr. Speaker. T -t Take your seat, Senator. Me, me, Mr. Speaker, the facts of a person's arrest uh, must be in police records, must be in OB. Is it in order for him? Because I came here. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Order. Mr. Speaker, can I, can I be heard? Order, 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 can Senators. Can I be heard? I you may not, not agree with what he's saying, but give I, you an I, opportunity I to say what he's saying. I did not mean to interrupt Senator Murkomen, but uh, the fact that he mentioned my name, I left my house and came here. And Mr. Speaker, I have no information, I have no OB information, and I know that there could be truth and there could be untruth. Is it in order for Senator Murkomen to blame me for not knowing when I have no facts? I'm a person of facts, and facts and facts alone, like Josiah Bonda by... Senator... Mr. Speaker, Murkomen. two things. One, I'd like to ask my friend Senator Chilo Yako to go look for a mirror in the, behind your sit Mr. Speaker at the bathroom and see himself if he's still that Sonu crusader for liberty Mr. Speaker that he spoke about. Number two Mr. Speaker we are honorable senators in this house. We don't lie. We can move a motion on basis of lies. We cannot mislead this house. These facts were brought before the speaker. These facts are known. They are incontrovertible. Mr. Speaker, let us not belittle this debate. Let us contextualize de this debate for what it is. It is about an assault on Mr. Speaker, parliamentary uh, democracy, Mr. Speaker, and Mr. Speaker, about the freedoms of this house. Let me concentrate on Mr. Speaker concluding by saying this. This Senate this morning is not being asked to adjourn so that you can assist this, this side or the other on the question on the basis of allocation of revenue. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I have refused, as a matter of fact, to go or prosecute my position on the question of voting for resources because my position is not superior to those who are on the other side. It's a question of when you vote, the other side, which has the numbers, can pass. But, Mr. Speaker, to arrest three senators, to make it impossible for them to come and make their decision, to subvert the, Mr. Speaker, sovereign right of the people of Kenya under Article 1 of the Constitution, that was donated to Senator Malala, Senator Langat, Senator Lelekwe, to come and exercise on the floor of this House. And for any colleague in this House to support that process, Mr. Speaker, it will be a pity. It will be, Mr. Speaker, the worst day. I call upon my colleagues, Mr. Speaker, to look at themselves and look at the situation we are going through this morning. Senator Orengo told me on the floor of this house with Senator Sang and Senator uh, Aaron Kiriot, we were sitting here, said, Mr. Speaker, that revolution hits its own children. That, Mr. Speaker, this house, that, Mr. Speaker, 
this government was going to be worse to us than Mr. Speaker, them that were in the opposition then. Mr. Speaker, Senator Rengo now sits in a mob. He has, Mr. Speaker, the ear of the president on the government. Mr. Speaker, I want to look at Senator Orengo on the face. Mr. Speaker, it has devoured me, Mr. Orengo. Now it will come for you. It okay. To apply, uh, it's the time for Senator Orengo. To Mr. Speaker, speaker, remember, I'm concluding, Mr. Speaker, to remember his words to me that yes, that revolution devoured me. Yes, it drew me to the back bench. Yes, Mr. Speaker, our rights have been violated. Okay, okay. It is your turn, Senator okay, okay, Rengo, okay. sitting in position of power okay. to say no okay. to the subversion of those rights, okay. Mr. Speaker. Okay. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator James Orengo. Yeah, you have. No. No. Me, me, me. What's your point of order, Senator, Senator Ledama? Okay. I have a lot of respect for my brother, Moses Kajuang. But we are joking. You know, this corona is real. So I'm, I want to just request, my dear good brother, okay, please. Go look for a seat somewhere else. Okay. Corona Senator Kajuang observes social distancing. Senator Nyamunga, what's your point of intervention? Mr. Speaker, I, in my view, I think maybe you, I, I know it is your uh, discretion, but it would be good for us, for you to give us time so that we, we, we make ma our points. And then you get the leaders to, to take a, a back seat a bit so that we are also heard, Mr. Speaker, because uh, the, whatever they say m may influence what they have, we have to say. Okay. Is that okay with the leaders? Okay, because I can see they have also, uh, they want to speak. Okay. Okay. Senator Mohamud. Mr. Speaker, sir, I stand to support this motion. Mr. Speaker, this is the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. A few days ago, I tweeted that this Senate is under siege. I also tweeted that we are actually at crossroads. Mr. Speaker, sir, I want to challenge the leadership. Both my good friend, the Senator for West Pakot, uh, Senator Bugusio, and Senator Orengo of Kisiaya to take leadership in this house and fight for the right of this house. So speaker, sir, as the speaker of this Senate, you are today in a very, very uh, serious position. This house is on trial. And you, as a mediator, and a bit of this house has a role, a role to play. So speaker, sir, we cannot allow the democracy that this country has, has fought for to be clouded back. Kenyans fought for a constitution a very liberal constitution with a very, very I mean, liberal Bill of Rights, and now it's being clouded back. We cannot turn Kenya into a police state. It's very unfortunate, Mr. Speaker, sir. Last night, in fact, I was uh, following what's happening at the, the, the Langas House. A lot of my colleagues and uh, a lot of my constituents live there. In fact, the whole estate was awake last night. <laughs>